Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome to another video on the channel. Today, guys, we're going to look at some of the content that's dropping today. It's a Saturday, so usually the content is decent. We're also going to just do a little bit of a catch-up on YouTube because a lot of stuff this week has been Fall Guys pack openings, um, real-life stuff with the pack openings. So I want to do a catch-up video, kind of talk things with FIFA right now um, and kind of where my thoughts are after we look at the content. So probably it's going to be a little bit of a longer video. If you enjoy it, drop a thumbs up. And really quickly before we get into it, it's the 4th of July weekend in America, so if you're celebrating, have fun. I am catching up on some rest this weekend from streaming. I need it. Um, and I had some plans today, but the weather is horrible, so going to chill out. Means if we do get a good card today, we may try out a couple of games on the second channel later, so check out that. And uh, yeah, just thank you guys for the incredible support in all the videos. I, I can't thank you guys enough, man. I'm, I'm really enjoying creating videos for you guys and trying to keep the ideas flowing. You guys seem to like the reaction videos. I like doing those. I don't want to spam them, and I want to do them when there's videos that really interest me. So to all you guys that are watching interesting videos and stuff, as you send them along to me, if I like something, I'll go ahead and watch it. And let me know what you guys think about Ronaldo, man. I put out a tweet just now. It's crazy. I, I'm not really surprised that he is leaving United. I mean, for me, you know, Ronaldo is going to want to be playing in the Champions League. I personally think that he should have never left Real Madrid. Uh, it's it's one of those question marks like what could Ronaldo have accomplished accomplished even more in his career if he ended up staying at Real Madrid, so that that for me is the big question mark. And you know I understand why he didn't go to City. He went to United over City because it would be kind of a snake move to go to City. But man, imagine if he'd gone to City because they really could have used the striker the last you know year or so. So we'll see, man. We'll see where Ronaldo goes. I mean the rumors right now is between like Bayern, Chelsea, Napoli. So I don't know. Bayern already said that they didn't want him to be a part of their project necessarily because they, they're kind of doing a younger project Ronaldo's a little bit older but I think if the price is right and you're a good team anybody would take Ronaldo so let me know what you guys think about that obviously very exciting transfer news man and this is the time of the year where we start to get that stuff so really really cool um and uh yeah EA play members so if you guys do have EA play or you have like Xbox game pass there's like a supercharge pack I opened mine yesterday I didn't get anything um mine was very bad and yeah We've got a crazy new team. I I'd kind of looked at it yesterday on the stream just for a little bit, then we had kind of done some packs, but this team is crazy. I'm going to talk about this team in a minute because with every good thing in FIFA, I feel like there's always a problem, and there's a, there's a pretty big problem with this team for me that we will talk about in a second. Um, but first of all, let's take a look at some of the SPCs. My account is running on fumes, guys. We have almost nothing left now. We've got Trent center mid, and it's a flashback card with five-star skills. So this car looks absolutely incredible. Um, what a freaking car this is. I mean, this... You know, for me, guys, Trent, his team of the year two years ago was one of the best center mids in the game. He was, a, he was a right back, and you moved him in game, and man, was that card absolutely incredible, guys. That card was so freaking good in game. So, flashback Trent, and if you guys are wondering exactly what I'm talking about, what I am talking about was this card. I packed him on tradable. He's one of my favorite cards in the game. And if you actually look at it, these two cards are very similar. This card is actually a lot better than the new card that was just released. So, this Trent looks absolutely crazy. Um... Five-star skills, guys, on him. I mean, he's got high-high, which means he's going to work like crazy in the midfield. It's another just absolutely nuts midfielder with the four-star weak foot. He's got good traits. Amazing defensive awareness with 93. Aggression at 97. Strong enough. Max stamina. Great dribbling. Um, great shot power. I mean, because he has 99 shot power, he's going to be probably one of the best, you could say, like, shooting center mids. I mean, he's going to be incredible in game. And look at that passing, man, with the five-star skills. So you can really play this Trent anywhere which is sick like you could play him as a cam even um with how this card looks and the work rates that he has so this is probably not going to be a cheap sbc 86 87 88 but it is an incredible card guys so i can understand why ea have gone ahead and released this today and honestly i want to try him out because he does look really good um so gg to ea on that definitely one of the best center mids in the game now right because what can't this card do there's always weaknesses with cards and honestly i don't really see one here right he's got not the best heading accuracy, but then he's got decent jumping. He's got great stamina. Just high, 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 high with these stats is going to make him absolutely incredible. What packs back do you get for this? Small prime gold players pack, rare mix players, prime gold. So 88, 87, 86, it's going to come in expensive, guys, if you look at it based on how um, Ole was yesterday, Ali. But I still think this is a great SBC regardless of the price. And you probably have some time. You have six days. So you could theoretically wait if you guys wanted to for the player picks and then figure out from there if you wanted to do it right other than that um it looks like we have the one of four team of the season or shapeshifters spc back again um this one for me you know i got messy out of this one so we'll do this today we'll go ahead and do it i just got team of the season messy 
uh, from that. We've got a Shapeshifters Challenge. Uh, this was obviously there already. Throwback marquee matchups. Other than that, I don't see anything else um, besides that. We also may have had that player pick yesterday, and I just didn't do it. Um, there is a possibility of that. And, uh, yeah, we obviously yesterday we had uh, a crazy hero card as well, guys. We'll talk about that as well. I did the SBC. Um, but, you know, I talked about it on my second channel. I thought it was a little bit overpriced. So let me see. So we've got Shapeshifters Cup obviously was there. I think this is a new objective. Shapeshifters uh, Fabian Santose. What? So he's a striker. And there's a token there. There is a token there. Does he have five-star skills? He's two-star, two-star. Um, all right, we're gonna have to go look in concepts here because two star two star is quite horrendous I'm gonna be honest, but I think it's always glitched like my guess is that's probably gonna be Four star four star is my guess, but we'll, we'll go ahead and look what, what is concept saying so four star four star Yeah, so this is quite a generic card. I mean, maybe a good center mid um, But obviously with trend dropping your, your interest is gonna be a little bit less um, Let me go on flipping just on the pop new page and just make to make sure like yeah So Trent is there and Ginola is there now, we'll talk about something I want to talk about in a, in a minute or two. Um, we will get there, but we're not there yet. Um, and other than that, we haven't missed anything. So that's what it is today. I just want to make sure. Um, first of all, I, I was looking yesterday at um, the... Oh, we got a walk out here. What is this? Uh, Dutch, center mid, and that's going to be De Jong. And then there are De Jong. Also might be going to United. United's in a lot of topics right now. So nice fodder, though. We'll take that. Let me just check the store packs real quick. Uh, to make sure there's nothing good. So just 50Ks. Okay, I always, I always say for you guys, I like to rip them if there's something good um, on display there. But honestly, there's nothing really too crazy. So yeah, I mean, in terms of the SBC yesterday, I have been hearing... I mean, I asked Nepenthes what he was going to do. He took the cam version. Either way, I, you know, I tried it yesterday and I did it f for the video. But I just don't think this is this card is worth it being 4-4 at this time of the year. Um, either one. I mean, I think the one with the dribbling might end up being better. Because the one that I had used was a little bit stiff. But, yeah, as, as I just said, I think this card is a little bit overpriced. I just wanted to point that out because I feel like yesterday, a lot of people asked me what I thought about him. I think he's just too much, man. I mean, I think at the end of the day, he's just too expensive. Um, and, and, you know, that's totally okay. So, while I'm doing this SBC, I wanted to talk about something real quick. And we're going to get on the market and we'll look at these cards in a minute. I have a little bit of a problem at the moment, guys. And my issue with this promo so far is that I believe... Look, I'm not here to just complain to EA for the sake of complaining, okay? But I think right now we have this issue on foot where I think that all these kind of crazy top-tier cards like Ribery, um, uh, Ginola, right? I think they're all way too expensive. And I think it stems down to the fact that it's pretty crazy at this time of the year that EA are choosing to make the pack weight as bad as it is, right? Like all these top-tier cards that I personally really want to try out right now. Like I really look at them and I'm like, man, I want to try that card. Like he looks really sick. I can't try them, and that's because, look, I, obviously I don't have that many coins, right? I have like 2 million coins right now. But it's besides the point that, like, who is able to try those cards right now? And that's where I kind of look at it, like, I feel like EA have really gone wrong a little bit with this promo. Now, I understand that the cards are very cool. They're new. They're neat. I get it, guys. Like, I get all that, right? And these cards do look sick. I'm not going to deny that I would love to use these cards. The problem is that I feel like nobody can really afford them at at least the top version cards. And, like, that is a big issue for me. How can we have a promo at this time of the year where, like, no one can really actually afford the damn cards? And I, and I find that to be extremely problematic and flawed on EA's perspective because, you know, I think they're missing a big deal here. And it's like none of the none of the, the majority of players can try a Shapeshifters Ronaldo, a Shapeshifters Meth, uh, Messi, a Shapeshifters, you know, potentially like Neymar, right? Right now we have Ginola. We have all these players that, like, nobody can try. And it's because they're out of control with their price. Um, and, and I just think that's concerning from EA at this time of the year, right? Because basically the only people that can afford those cards are people that have 10 million coins plus. Now, I understand, guys. I totally understand the debate that the market sets the, sets the parameter for how much a card would be. But the way that EA have kind of gone past that in the past, right, is they've ran, you know, let's say they've done times in Black Friday where they had run more lightning rounds. Or, I just feel like, for me, why can't EA make the pack weight even better, right? It's a time of the year where, no, like, people are less invested in the game anyways. So, so I just, I, for me, it's, it, it is confusing. Um, 
why EA are, are kind of pulling this pulling it this way. I, I don't understand why we have to sit here and, uh, you know, deal with these prices of cards. It just doesn't make any sense to me. And I think EA could do better just by simply making the pack weight better. Um, that's the only way I see further. Because right now, you know, we've got this incredible card like Ginola, right? And the only way, the literally only way you can try him, I don't know if I get a 78 in here. The only way you can try him is through a draft. Like, there's no other way at the moment that any of any anybody watching this video, and I, of course, I didn't get chem here. This is just so painful. Um, there's no way anyone else who's watching this video is going to be able to try him, right? And it's because he's 14 mil, right? Who the hell can afford a 14 mil card um, right now? I surely can't, so... It's just frustrating, man, because, like, Ribery, right? Ribery growing up was, like, one of the players that I loved, man. I, I thought he was one of the best players. Like, I was in love with the way he played. Um, and week in and week out, I loved watching Ribery play. And it's like, okay, he's got this crazy five-star, five-star card now. And nobody can use him because the guy is extinct at five mil. Now, I understand that, again, we, j we had just said that the market is going to set a value for a player. Um, but the issue that I have is, like, even in the past of FIFA... You know, we look at Ribery's car, right? Look at this, man. Even on Xbox, he's 4.1. And now, 5 star 5 star being that, it's probably, like, the greatest card in the game. I get it. But it's just concerning, right? Because it's July, right? And nobody can get this card. And we look at the generations. You're saying, okay, well, he's had cards in the past. Yes, this was released during Team of the Year. This was, like, a mill at one point. But you could craft it. This was Summer Heat, right? Okay, this is a 5 star 5 star Ribery card during Summer Heat. Released in July or August of FIFA 20. I remember it. And it's like, you could have got this card SBC-wise for 500k. And I remember even at that time that people were debating that, okay, you know, is this card too expensive? You know, all this, all that, right? And so it's like, wh what, what's the deal, right? What's the deal? Because nobody's going to be able to use these cards. Um, the only way, you know, you know, now that I feel like EA can truly correct their mistake, the only way is that if they done they did a best of promo very soon, they'd put all these cards in here and they had turned up the pack weight. But... You know, EA is just not really notorious for doing stuff like that. We don't really see EA, you know, pulling strings where they're they're making the pack way better a lot of the time. It's just not really something that EA like to do. So I I, I don't know what's gonna be the uh, I don't know what's gonna be the solution here, guys. But I think I'm not the only one that feels this way. And it's like, okay, we get on now on Friday, right? And not a lot of people generally are having fun with the game, right? A lot of people are just kind of like done with this game. I think FIFA's dying a little earlier this year than it has the last few years. And that, you know, that would include myself and my motivation for gameplay is very low. So it's like, what would motivate me to want to play the game? Okay, right? Like new cards. But the problem is in these new promos now, the only types of cards that you can try are the ones that are a little bit not great, right? The cheaper ones, the fodder cards. And then, you know, the gap to the top tier is to the moon. And it's like, the issue here is that the rewards are not updated, um, and so if I think if it's, it's one thing where if like you're looking at EA and they're updating the rewards, right? And so the way that I see that happening is that EA changed the rewards and they make the rewards promo cards for the rest of the year, right? Team of the seasons are starting to become a little bit washed now. So it's like, okay, can EA update, you know, let's say team of the season rewards. We'll go look at it in a second. Can, can they make these now, you know, maybe it's all the shapeshifters teams, right? I don't see a problem with that because you know, EA could still get away with their love for having, like, really bad pack odds for people. And, you know, you could still have your... What, what are the, the cheap shapeshifters cards? Maybe, like, Cucarella, right? Like, these guys would have the super high pack weight. And then you would have certain cards still available in there. Like, the, chan right, the chance of getting a 10 million coin Ronaldo. Right? The chance of getting these players would make it up really worth it for a lot of people. Um, so, you know, that's, that's the solution that I could also see where it's like, okay, if EA don't want to make the pack weight better... Well, why don't they try going down this road? You know, and that's something we that's something we have to look at and wonder. Is it possible that EA would look into doing that in the future? And could they do it? Because, I mean, I think if they don't make a change in the next week or two, I just think people are going to completely log off. Because as cool it is, it is to get Ginola and all these guys, the only way I'm going to be able to try them is now through draft, which is not as fun. And I'll probably end up doing it just for the content. But it's, it's a shame. So I did want to talk about that real quick. We'll go on the market and look at some stuff after we do this. I just had a problem with that, man. Because it's like, for me, I have 2 million coins, 2.5. That's fine, right? Again, I'm not the richest. But I don't think many people watching this video at this time in the year with the amount of SBC content, Prime Ico stuff that EA release, have these coins to buy these players. And they're incredible, incredible, incredible players. So, wow. What a player pick that is, by the way. We got four team of the seasons. Um, I feel like we got to go with Theo Hernandez here. Uh, now, my current left back that I've been using is, like, Cancelo. I love Cancelo. Do I go with Felix, maybe? 
This is a tough one. Now, we already have Luka Modric, and we love Courtois. So this is a bit of a tough decision here. I'm not really sure what I would do. So Felix is 370k. We obviously have a lot of attackers that we want to try out recently. How much is Theo Hernandez? Oh my god, so Theo Hernandez is 620k. So this SBC at 85, 87 was quite worth it for me. I think we're going to go with Theo Hernandez. Very nice, man. Very nice. Very nice. We'll, we'll take that. For an 85, 87 for how much I just spent, I think it's a very nice card. Um, definitely one of the best left backs in the game. We're actually starting to really accumulate the left backs now in this club. We're really starting to get a lot of them. So GG, we will definitely take that. But it's like, okay, let's go onto the market right now, right? And let's look at shapeshifters. And I'll show you guys what I'm talking about because I actually think that this team is unreal i love so many of the players but even the cards from the other week are still this crazy price like let's look at marcus rashford right because i think rashford looks crazy two million coins is a lot right two million coins is a ton and i think he looks insane but he's two mil right so that's very very expensive nice link to trent though by the way um and then you look at messi right how much is messi so messi is still seven million coins and the reason why he's this high yes he has demand right you guys are talking to somebody that's been following the market for a while. He has demand, but the issue here is that he doesn't have supply at all. He has, like, probably 20 cards in this game. So that's what's keeping him from ever kind of crashing and stuff. And I know that throughout the year we complain about supply and all this and all that. But at this time of the year, I don't think people were really caring in the last couple months of the game about supply. It's more about in the beginning of the year with Black Friday and Team of the Year when people are kind of buying teams around promos and every single week their team is crashing. I think a lot of people at this time of the year – would like to see the top tier cards kind of be cheaper. And one way EA could do that, making the pack way better. And if they don't, maybe making a team of the season rewards, shapeshifters rewards, and you know, you get three player shapeshifter packs tradable. If you get 14 wins plus, that'll bring some supply to the market with these cards every other week. You look at Cristiano Ronaldo. This dude is more expensive than Moments R9. He's got five cards on the market. Five. That's next to nothing. Five cards on the market is absolutely nothing. And it makes sense, right? You look at this card, 90 bounce. 97 agility, 99 reactions. It's an incredible card. It's Ronaldo's best card he's probably had since, like, FIFA 18. It's it's a ridiculous card. It really is. But it's 10 million coins, and there's only five on the market. So this is kind of the, 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 the trend and the theme here. These cards are just so inaccessible for the, for the average user. It reminds me a little bit of FIFA 19, where we just had these cards that got out of control, you know, with their price. And, you know, you talk about Ribery. Like, I think this card looks insane. Look at this guy, man. 5'5", five, five, but a couple of FIFAs ago, a very similar card to his was a 500k SBC. I know it's a new card. I know it's early on in the promo, but he's extinct at 5 mil. And based on the trends of the last couple of promos, he's probably not going to go less than 3.5 mil. I don't see why he wouldn't because this card is incredible. And now with the price that other people are paying for these other cards, this dude is just out of control in price. Um, it, it is really crazy. Not to mention not only just Ribery, uh, you also got Ginola, who we, we had kind of just talked about. This guy looks crazy. This looks like one of the best players of FIFA we've ever had. He's literally extinct, I think, at 14 mil. Let me check Flippin. Is he on the market now? So now he's now he's 11 mil. Okay, so now he's 11 mil. But yesterday he was selling at 14 mil. I mean, again, it's just like, I don't... Still, even at that price of 10 mil, same same argument as Ronaldo and same argument as Messi. Like, how, how's anyone going to be able to get this guy? But uh, crazy card, right? 99 acceleration. We know how good this version of Ginola was and now this version has literally i mean look at the balance went from 75 to 90 just crazy man just crazy crazy cards that they had released and i and i personally had just sitting here kind of wishing that they were a little bit more accessible because i think they could be and it's up to ea to really do that i think at this time of the year it's up to ea to really do that the, the one card that does really interest me and we, we already scrolled past him was rashford i think rashford is really interesting man um because his fantasy card was amazing I wonder how different his fantasy card. So this is a plus two. And yeah, I mean, this card should be incredible. Rashford's fantasy was just out of this world good. So I expect this version of Rashford to be really good. Um, and it looks like Shapeshifters is probably going to be the promo that EA ride with through the rest of the year. From what I can see, it just looks like this is kind of the promo they're going to do uh, for the rest of the year. So I, I think it's fine. Um, I, I think Summer Heat has been, was a little bit better because of the inclusion of like objective grind for people and cheaper SPCs with sick players but if this is the market that ea want to go ahead and do this is the market that ea want to go ahead and do and what are you going to be able to do right um so yeah other than that guys i think trent's card today looks phenomenal and uh yeah that's going to be it for the video today guys thanks for watching have a great weekend we'll kind of have videos going up and 
all over the channels for the next couple of days. Just don't really know when. But thanks for watching, guys. Drop a thumbs up if you enjoy. And I'll see you guys in a video later. Peace.